a CBS2 investigation. When you have the police lying on the record and corrupting things. The explosive new allegations tonight against the LAX Police Department. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS2 News at 11 p.m. Now to a CBS2 investigation. It's a story we've been following closely. Explosive allegations against the LAX Police Department. CBS2's Christy Fajardo shows us the new claims. Officers are scared to step forward. Airport officer Rodney Ruzan says he knows he's taking a big risk talking to CBS2 about his employer, the LAX Police Department. I'm coming on camera right now and putting my face out there because this has to stop. Ruzan contacted CBS2 after our investigation revealed allegations by fellow officers of cronyism and retaliation within the department. When you have the police lying on the record and corrupting things just for their own personal gain and agenda, we have a serious problem. Ruzan is now the 12th officer to reach out to CBS2 with similar allegations. In 2012, he was fired. It stemmed from a dispute with his estranged business partner, who alleged Ruzan pulled a gun on his employees. Documents show sheriff's investigators who were called to the scene said no crime occurred, but Ruzan was still fired as a result of the incident more than a year later. It was really sad for me to see that people just to advance in their career, they would support something that they knew to be false. Ruzan went above the department to appeal the firing. CBS2 has obtained the recording of that hearing before the city Civil Service Commission in February of 2013. These guys have absolutely no honor. It is a disgrace that they're protecting the biggest terrorist target in the country and there's no integrity. The commission's own examiner, Judy Gus, said Roseanne's former business partner and his employee's stories didn't add up. They described different gun colors and there were other inconsistencies. But what shocked Roseanne the most was a statement within the airport's human resources record that he admitted to displaying a weapon, which turned out to be false. Part of dispute that there's no such admission? No. What was your understanding of where this error arose? I don't know. I, I don't know who drafted the memorandum and put that information in there. The commission ruled Ruzan should get his job back. He was reinstated in February of 2013. He now believes the airport police department targeted him because of his union activities and his political beliefs. The appellate is a self-admitted constitutionalist, which for this board is a sovereign citizen. Well, I don't know that his politics are before us. I've been railroaded, and this is obvious. They've showed their true colors right here. At no point in time I'm a part of any form of group or anything. I study the law, sir. Ruzan knows his views on the Constitution are controversial and admits to questioning department policies. The commission's examiner wrote he can be a challenging employee, bordering on insubordinate, but added that was not the basis for his firing. The airport sent CBS2 a lengthy statement, reading in part, quote, Officer Ruzan continues to portray his May 2012 discharge in a manner not supported by the facts, even after being reinstated stated more than three years ago and having all of his concerns fully reviewed and investigated. In short, his allegations that airport police management intentionally mishandled his discharge or violated his rights are baseless. But the officers we spoke with believe Ruzan's case is an example of why they need the inspector general to come in. They say they joined the force to protect and serve, but are left wondering who's protecting them. It's very disingenuous, I could say, of uh, Mayor Garcetti or any of the council members not to say they didn't know what was going on. Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News. Now, the airport says two outside investigations did not find any wrongdoing on the part of the department when it came to Ruzan's firing. If you want to read the statement in its entirety, it's on CBSLA.com.